So a very warm evening to all of you. Today we would focus on the kind of questions which come for your CSET paper too. Now with your exams left with just 10-15 days ahead, what we need to understand is how to prepare for CSET paper too. This is one of the sections where students actually start their preparation very very late closer to the examination. So let's have some insight about the kind of questions that you need to practice on. So coming on to the very first question here. Now here is a question where we have certain information which is given. Based on this information, it is given which of the following most accurately expresses the main conclusion of the argument given by an economist. So uh, you have the five choices which are given here based on this. So in most of the questions, we have included five choices to give you a better insight about understanding the questions. Now understand this question in detail and we would discuss it. Uh, those who want to mention their answers are free to do, do those in the comment section. But here we are not on a question answer session, but understanding how and why we consider this as an important question. Now, every business strives to increase productivity for their in, for this increases profit of the owner and likelihood that the business would survive. Definitely, if the productivity is increasing, the owner's profit would increase and the likelihood of the business to survive would increase. But listen, this sentence is the essence of this whole question. But not all efforts to increase productivity are beneficial to the business as a whole. Often, attempt to increase productivity decrease the number of employees which harms the dismissed employed and the sense of security in the retained employee. Now, this sentence actually is not that uh, meaningful when it comes to the accurate expression of the main conclusion of this statement. Why? Because here, the idea is that we are focusing on increasing productivity, but at the same time that we are, we are saying that not all the efforts which are going into productivity are good for the business as a whole. That means some measures taken by the business to increase productivity fail to be beneficial as simple as that. So a very direct question with a very direct answer that you can find here. If you look on to other choices, there is no business that does not make effort to increase productivity. Nothing like that has been stated. Decreasing the number of employees undermines the sense of security in the retained uh, employee. This is not the main conclusion. We need to focus on the main idea. So main idea is productivity and business is striving to increase the productivity. So this is not the main theme. Only if employees of the business are also its owners, will, will, will the interest of the employees and the owner coincide? Enabling measures that would be beneficial for the business. Again, this is not mentioned as a basic idea behind the passage. And if an action is taken to secure the survival uh, of a business fails to enhance the welfare of the employee, that action cannot be good for the business. Nothing like that has been mentioned because it is not the sense of survival of the business, but it is focusing on the productivity of the business. It's not talking about uh, the basic idea is maintaining and retaining the productivity and not the survival. Okay. And that's move on to the next question the next question is regarding science so as we have now these are the kind of questions that you usually witness in your exam paper uh, the passages are independently nowadays with each of the questions so also you have to ramp up on your reading skill you have to be a proficient reader read fast now scientists say that average earth's annual temperature has increased by 0.5 degrees celsius in the last century this warming is a result of building up of mine Inner gases in the atmosphere blocking the outward flow of the heat from the planet which one of the following is true when it comes to an evidence against the explanation of the earth's warming now only some minor ga gases whose presence in the atmosphere resulted in the phenomena described by the scientists were produced by industrial pollution now this is just a simple direct statement that is given but understand this statement and you would understand what the problem is. It says that most of the warming occurred before 1940, but most of the built up of the mi minor gases occurred after 1940. Now, if I'm saying the minor gases is accumulating after 1940, then we are saying that the building up of the temperature is because of the minor gases. That means the warming occurred before 1940 was due to another reason and not due to minor gases. However, in our statement, we are saying that 
the warming has occurred and that is due to the building up of minor gases and therefore this point contradicts the explanation which is already given in the question and b would be the answer in this case the rest of the all the statements are statements which are directly given and they are not against the explanation given by the scientists regarding earth's warming but this is definitely against it because in one statement it says that the warming that occurred before 1940 and then in the second it says that the building up of the minor gases occurred after 1940 now if it occurred after 1940 that was the period when warming occurred and if it was before 1940 what was the reason should be minor gases according to the scientist what they have said so therefore b becomes an uh, uh, argument which is against it clear let's move on to the next statement the next statement is another interesting question understand this question very very carefully an undergraduate degree is necessary so a ug degree is necessary for appointment to a board uh yes kaushal has a very good question how to know against option so let me move back to the question uh, kaushal just a second so coming back to this question all the other statements are favoring or talking about the minor gases like the first statement says that minor gases are result uh, of the industrial pollution which is a direct statement i cannot say this is against it it is directly related to minor gases and warming then again earth receives more solar radiation in certain years than it did in other it is again a basic statement it's not against or contradicting what is already said in the question volcanic dust and other particles reflect the radiation back in the space before it reaches earth this is again a normal statement uh, it's not contradicting the viewpoint of the scientists given there and accumulation of the minor gases has been greater in the last century than any other time and this is what is actually given in the question so again not a contradiction by all means so the only option which is contradicting is b i hope kaushal it makes it clear let's come on to next question and as we practice you would have better understanding or not uh okay so here an undergraduate degree is necessary for appointment to a board further no one with felony conviction conviction can be appointed so ug plus no felony is the criteria to be appointed to board that's the basic statement thus mahesh an accountant with a bachelor's and a master's degree cannot be accepted for the position of administrator since he has a felony conviction now mahesh is ug plus pg plus no felony is the requirement for what now this requirement is not for the board this requirement is for what this requirement is for administrator now look the question is very dicey you have to be very very accurate while reading the question one talks about board other talks about administrator we don't know whether there is a relation between board or administrator or not now the question says argument arguments conclusion follows logically if which one of the following is assumed now if i assume what matlab means from the given choices what i have to actually assume in order to make sure that my conclusion comes true about mahesh so anyone with a masters degree and without a felony is eligible for appointment to board no that is not correct it is ug degree and no felony for the board candidates eligible for appointment to the board can be accepted for the position of administrator yes this can be assumed because ug plus no felony is eligible for board ug pg and no felony is uh, eligible for administrator so those who are eligible for board the candidates who are eligible for the appointment for the board can be accepted for the position of administrator as well because it is assumed that ug degree and no felony is required mahesh also has a pg degree so probably pg degree is a required condition or not we don't know but yes if there is ug and no felony definitely there is a chance that you can be accepted as an administrator so b becomes true let me move to further sentences to understand whether those are correct or not so an undergraduate degree is not a necessary condition for administrator incorrect it is ug pg and no felony if mahesh did not had a felony conviction conviction he would be accepted for the position of administrator uh, we also cannot prove on this because we need to follow the conclusion uh, based on the assumption now if i assume that 
he does not have a felony conviction then he would be accepted for the position of administrator i don't know because i am not still sure about the actual degrees that an administrator require whether it is just ug pg and no felony or there is another any other specific criteria which is attached as well the felony charges on which mahesh was convicted is relevant to the duties of the position of administrator nothing like that has been cited in the uh, case so this is not what has been given in the example let's move to the next question the next question is electric car now understand the topics like these which are contemporary asked a lot in your uh, gs are part of your exam papers as well so the question here says proponent of electric car maintain that when the technical problems associated with its battery design are solved such cars would be widely used as they would be emission free free will result in an abatement of the environmental degradation caused by auto emissions but unless we dam more rivers electricity to charge these batteries comes from either nuclear or coal power and each of these produces environmental damage thus electric cars are which of the following most logically completes the argument what do you think would be the right option now if i say that electric cars would remain less popular that's not the main theme the electric cars would increase the level of uh, the electric cars require purely technical problems to be solved before they can succeed again not a point we will not produce a net reduction in environmental degradation again not a point so the two points that you can still focus on is a and d it will have worse the environmental consequences than its proponent believe because it is using nuclear and coal fired plants and to create those batteries to generate to charge those batteries nuclear and coal power are used and therefore if we say electric cars are emission free but at the same time they are worsening the consequences of the environment the next choice is will increase the total level of emissions rather than reduce it no caution understand we are not focusing on the levels of emission there is nothing focusing on the total level of emission which has been spoken in the passage the passage has not talked about the absolute level of emissions the total value of the emission so we do not know whether the total value value of the emission would reduce or would increase but we definitely know this would harm the environment so it would have worse consequences on the environment and therefore they believe that these produce or will produce environmental damage so a would be the right option in this case i hope i i'm i'm very clear here the next question and the last question for today is a very important question now this is from your gs paper 4 This GS paper four question basically on ethics says that the most advanced kind of moral motivation is based solely on abstract principles. This form of motivation is in contrast with calculated self-interest or desire to adhere to the societal norms or convictions. The action for which one, uh, for which one of the following individual exhibit the most advanced form of moral motivation as described by ethics. so it is in contrast with self interest that means what it explains the passage says that when i am talking about more moral motivation it should be such that it should not be focused on self interest and also it should not adhere to the societal norms or the desire for getting a name in the society okay so desire or adhere to society should not be the basic idea now I have few statements here let me read those Mahesh contributed money to the local charity during a drive because he worried that not doing so would make him look stinky so he is bothered about the society so this is an incorrect choice Suresh contributed money to the charity drive because he believed doing so would improve his employer's opinion so again there is a hidden agenda a self interest so this is not a morally strong uh, option which is there Now Ramesh employers engaged in an illegal but profitable practice that caused serious damage to the environment Ramesh did not report it and out of the fear that her employers would retaliate against her so again he has a uh, a, a feeling that there that would be against the societal norms so he should hide those things so again it's not ethical 
Lala's employers engaged in ill engaged in an illegal and profitable practice that caused serious damage to the environment lala reported this practice to the authority only because uh, several colleagues had been pressuring him so again this is under societal pressure so not correct now let me read the last one jagdish employers engaged in illegal but profitable practice that caused serious damage jagdish reported it to the authority out of the belief that the environment is always more important than monetary profit now this is a moral conviction or this is a moral uh, motivation where jagdish is feeling that it is important to protect environment more than having any kind of monetary benefit so this was the right option here i hope these kinds of questions have given you an insight how reading comprehension problems must be solved for your cset paper 2 now cset paper 2 we would be covering many more interesting questions and uh, the kind of model practice questions developing your insight opening your vision about the kind of logic very very simple basic logics but yes you have to be very alert read the statements very carefully be very ethically and morally strong before answering the questions okay so that's what is tested definitely kaushal we would bring more questions and probably uh, till your prelims exam we would have one session every day uh, it would be either live or as a recorded video session where we would be talking about your cset paper 2 questions the kind of problems that can be asked so stay prepared for very interesting sessions ahead and tomorrow day after probably in the morning sessions 11:30 we would have uh, numerous Uh, lectures which would be catering to your c set paper to to practice more the links are given below wish you a very good luck stay well stay safe